here with Jose Ramirez's uh, older brother Eduardo um, here at the Ramirez's household where he grew up. Eduardo, talk about your, uh, you know, seeing your uh, brother growing up into being a professional boxer. Um, did you see that coming? Um, I actually, yeah, yeah I, I saw it coming because since we're little, we used to like buy each other and like, like stuff like that. And, and that's when it all started, like, my mom was like, yeah, you should take him, you should take him to, to, to the boxing club because he's always fighting and this and that. And that's when everything started happening that he was going to Dubai to, to um, competitions and to all that stuff. And, and when he was in high, when he was in high school, that, that's when everything started getting like, people trying to like, to know him more. And yeah, bro, like, like I said, <laughs> And I'm just right here. Yeah, I'm the one that takes care of his car. Um, I, I, I'm the one that washes cars, bags, and things. And can you know me? Keep it nice for him. Mm -hmm. Cause it's pretty much as hard for boxers to you know me. Like, and that's why I help all the out. Pretty much, my mom likes likes guarding. Uh, you know, like all moms do. <laughs> And yeah, she likes to keep her flowers, her roses, and all that stuff. Um, like I just cut the grass today. And yeah. Uh, here's where we like sit down to relax, you know. When Jose like finish boxing, that's what he does. He comes right here, you know. And um. And yeah, pretty much. We have the lemons, the lemons tree, and um, the orange tree over there. And yeah, we have water for the birds. Yeah, it's like this house was made in like five years ago. Um, my dad bought it. When, yeah. We used to live in a small house. That was small. It was like right here. That was tiny. Like we used to sleep with uh, us four. Okay. Before we lived in the big house, we used to live right here. This was our house. It was this palm tree? Um. This was the kitchen, I believe. And um, oh, the living room, it could be, you know what I mean, either, I, I can't remember. But yeah, it was right here. This, like, and this square, we can call it, or oh, circle. And, and yeah, and they, 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 they um, shut it down, and we, um, my, that's what my parents wanted to re. Cause it was too tiny for us. It was like, I'm not cool no more. And that's when we decided. My dad decided to build that house. And then that's when. Yeah, and um, we then we moved to Westview to apartment just for a couple of months until they like fixed the house and all that. And we came back. Well, uh, this is no. This is my my amateur trophies here. Um, when I was starting in the amateurs. A lot, a lot of my trophies, you know, I kind of gave away to kids and stuff like that in Avenue, but I, I kept some of them. And actually, this one here on your right hand side, this one, this is the one I was talking about. My, this, this was my first fight ever. My first trophy. This was when it, I won this at the, at the ringside in Fresno, and. I remember this this trophy used to used to look uh, bigger when I was little. You know, when I was fighting at sixty pounds, carrying this trophy here, you know, was 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 amazing. You know, this is my first trophy in boxing, and then after that, I just started fighting more, and you know, and started collecting my trophies. This 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 big one here was. I went to this uh, tournament. I was only around 
I think 9, 10 years old. And I won best, uh, best boxer. I think I, I, don't, I think it was like a state championship and I won best, best boxer. The best boxer award, so they gave me that big trophy. I, I have a lot of uh, trophies that actually were given to me because I was the, the best fighter of the night. Or the, uh, the boxer of the tournament. Best boxer of the tournament. Uh, some I remember real, real good. Like this one was. Uh, this was actually one to Larry too. Some, some, a lot of these trophies were local. You know, to Larry, uh, Color Rosie, Fresno, Salinas, Hollis, all over the Central Valley. A lot of my trophies. So this is where I started. And then I started moving up, uh, working in my state, and, and usually in the amateurs, uh, when you go to nationals, you win medals, you win, uh, you start winning medals instead of trophies. You know, like you start getting, you know, trying to go for, going for that, for the, uh, for the gold medal, for the USA gold medal. And then this, this, this check here is my first sponsored by one of the starships. And this was done, uh, to go to uh, the Olympic trials in 2011, and then I qualified there to go to the Worlds in 2011, which you know I I lost in the controversial decision, and I came back and I had to do the reload in 2012, and then went to Brazil to qualify. But this is actually wonderful, you know. Perma Farms were actually always there even before I made it to the Olympics, so that shows there. This, this article here was actually, um, I think it was from the Huffington Post. So it says, Jose Ramirez is a boxing prodigy who puts family and education first. When they, the title actually gave me a little bit of, a lot of people got like, you know, like how, how he's gonna put education first if he's, you know, and, and instead of boxing and in a way where, you know, they got it messed up is what I, you know, my goal was to make it to the Olympics before I went pro. So you know, I just so I still went to I went to school while trying to make it to the Olympics. You know, I didn't want to go pro unless you know I made it to the Olympics, or at least gave it a try. But yeah, family does come first. Well, this is this is my home gym here, and you know I've been coming to this gym since I was eight. I came in, I walked in here once, and uh, so you can kind of do. Check it, check it out. I, I, I will see a lot of people walk up, up the block, and I, you know, I, was, I, I lived only like two blocks away, so I used, I used to see groups of people walk out of the gym, so it kind of like motivated me to come in and take a look at it and kind of to socialize and, and, to, uh, and to be a part of the program. Uh, when I first walked in, I remember I walked in here, nobody, not too many knew, knew me. I walked in, there was people training, there was, there was people training. Uh, Armando was in the in the ring, uh, and I walk in and there's this bag is been for for a long time, but we just put a different uh, frame to hold it. But there was a, a timing bag like this one here, and I come and I just and I, I kind of just start by myself with no gloves, and hitting it, and I hit this ball, I hit this and it went boom oh, and it hit me right back. So I was kind of like. Disappointed at that point because I was very athletic and and I just kind of got embarrassed and I just didn't want to deal with it so I didn't even introduce myself so the way I went in I just I walked slowly out and a few months later I came back in and I wanted to give it a try and I remember I used to be I used to um, spend a lot of time hitting the heavy bag a blue heavy bag a blue or the red one I spent a lot of time there hitting those heavy bags trying to trying to improve to catch up. Cause I was I was behind, and I was I was I was very competitive, and I wanted to catch up to the rest of the other kids, and I wanted to get my my license, so I wanted to you know start fighting as an amateur, and I had my first amateur fight in Fresno. Uh, probably got my license. I got my I got my I got my first fight maybe three months, three months once I was here, three months of training. I got I fought my first fight, and I won my first fight, and I kept going. Keep going after that. And I've been here since. And you see, you still see a lot of my, uh, my sponsors. 
and so let's see a lot of pictures. Once a lot of a lot of times, most of my time here when I come to Avena, I sp I spend my time here in this in my in my bed just watching TV. My mom takes care of bringing me the food and everything. I mean she she really spoils spoils me because she understands that you know she she doesn't have me all the time. You know I have my own house now, so she understands that sometimes I'm I'm gone traveling for training and stuff. So now that I'm here, the times that I am here, she takes advantage of it and she really treats me good. She, um, she really spoils me a little too much sometimes. You know sometimes I, I want to help out and she she kind of tells me I'll take a seat. You know. I'll go make food for you and I'll serve you and she's always on things, you know. She dedicated all her life for us. You know, my my dad dedicated his life working for us, bringing food and my mom takes care of that food by cooking it and you know I remember my mom used to take us in a bike in a bicycle to school. And so my mom really dedicated our life to, to to us, me and my brothers and my sister. 